Hello and welcome to your 41st Django tutorial. On today's tutorial, we're going to build a model for our profiles, which is going to um, inherit from the user model that Django has already built. So let's go ahead and close some of this stuff out here. We're not going to need this. We're just going to focus on the model today. Um, and bear with me, I'm exhausted. I've been writing code for the last 24 hours straight, I believe. All right, so <clears throat> let's get started. Um, all right, so in our models, we're importing model, so we're inheriting from the model itself. Now, we need to inherit from the user model as well, so let's go ahead and import that. So from Django.contrib.auth for authentication, models, import user. All right, so we're going to use the default or inherit from the default user model. <clears throat> All right, next thing we're going to do is we're also going to import something called signals. Uh, signals allows us to um, do some things in our models, if you will. Uh, it will allow us to, uh, like when we create a, or when a new user creates a profile, we can either save that as our profile, or if the user updates their profile, we can update that uh, model as well. So we're going to go ahead and do from Django. Uh, db.models.signals import post save. So when we up, like I said, we create or update our um, profile, it will save it for us. Um, and then the last thing we need to um, do is import receiver. And what receiver does is it receives the information from the signals. All right. So from Django. Dot, um, I think it's dispatch import uh, receiver. All right, so let's go down and create our model now. We're just going to go, uh, call, it's going to be a class and a profile. Oops. And it's models dot model. All right. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to have a one-to-one -one field with the user model. So we'll create a user and it'll be models dot one to one field. And in there we're going to say user. So we're importing a user model and on delete. Um, what this does is it says if we delete the user, then delete the profile or if we delete the profile, delete the user uh this is going to change in um um django 2.0 so if you guys are following along on uh, 2.0 is out make sure you check the documentation for that all right so on delete models cascade so it's going to delete the profile and the user when either one of them is deleted all right uh next thing we're going to do is get a bio um so in, in our master code online website, this may change. I'm just throwing some stuff in here as of right now because I really haven't put any thought into it. Like I said, I'm freaking exhausted. Um, so I might not want bio or I might want something else. Uh, right now, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. So, uh, max length. We don't need max length here, but we do need blank is equal to true just in case the user doesn't want to go with bio all right uh location let's do models dot uh char field and we'll say max length 250 so they can write in you know united states or they can write in pennsylvania or whatever they want to write in um and we'll say blank is true as well just in case they don't want to share that information uh birth date we can put that in there for some reason if we want to say hey send them a birthday card uh we'll say date field and we'll say uh we're gonna have to do null is true equal to true and blank is equal to true as well um let's say career maybe do we want to know what they do for a living are they actual programmers or are they uh, we're at McDonald's. I don't know. Oops. And this needs a back, uh, max length because it's char field. So we'll say 250 and we'll say blank is equal to true. All right. Um, how about exp 
experience. Let's let's do something with experience so we can see if they're experienced programmers. Because I would like to eventually set up like a form where you guys can help each other. And if someone's on there, so, you know, has less or uh, is a newbie telling you how to do things, you might be like, yeah, eh, I'm not a dude. But if the guy has 20 years experience in programming, you might be like, hey, maybe I should listen to this guy. So let's do a uh, experience choices. Uh, did I spell experience? That looks right. Choices. And that will be a tuple. And inside there, another tuple. Well, let's just say uh, less than a year. Then one year. Something like that. And then less than one year. Something like that. Uh, I'm just going to copy this and just kind of change it around because I don't feel like typing all this. We'll do uh, three of them. So we'll say uh, one year to three years. One to two, one to three year, and we'll copy that. Put that over here, and then how about uh, more than three years? And like I said, you guys can basically do whatever you want to do with this. Uh, whatever you want to do with the user profile, you can do. I'm just throwing some stuff together. I'll end up changing it eventually. Um, hold on a second. Let me think about it. All right. So the first thing we need to do is use the receiver decorator to get the post save and from what model uh, is ascending. So... Um, Let's do uh, the decorator at receiver and um, what uh, signal function we're using. So it's going to be a post save. And then uh, where we get that uh, signal from is going to be senders equal to user. All right, so it's coming from the user model. Um, then we're going to create a function down here. We're going to say def we're going to define our function. We're going to say create uh, user oops, user profile. And we're going to pass several arguments here. So we're going to say sender uh, instance uh, created uh, and then keyword args will pass as well. Now, I don't know if we're going to use all these, but that's normally what I throw together here. Um, uh, let's say if created, if created. Profile dot objects dot created. And we'll say users equal to instance. There you go. And then down here, um, we're going to say at receiver again. And this time it's going to be post underscore save. And same thing, sender is equal to user. All right, and then we're going to find another function, save underscore user underscore profile, and we'll do send oops, sender comma instance comma uh, keyword arcs again, just like that. Uh, then we'll just do instance dot uh, profile. Dot save. All right. Uh, so if we create a user profile, it's going to save the profile. If we if we save a user profile, it's going to save the user profile. All right. So um, that's our model. It's, can be a little confusing since we haven't seen this before. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So we're extending the user model and creating a profile. So in the next tutorial, we'll uh, uh, continue working on this. We'll go into uh, the views. We'll also go into the forms. And we'll create a page where we can edit the, um, the, the profile. Now, uh, you might not be able to sign into your admin page at 
the moment. Uh, we'll fix that down the road. But uh, right now you might get an error. Actually, I don't know. I think you get an error. But let's find out. Uh, server's running. Let me see what happens here. You might get an error. Actually, we're not going to get anything yet because we didn't migrate the database. So let's do that first. Uh, first off, go to settings. Settings. Uh, put accounts in there. And then down here, we'll do python manage.py make migrations. Also, uh, with a word of warning, um, whenever you mess with the user model, um, sometimes things get a little hairy with your database. So, uh, we may or may not, depending on where we are um, with the database, we might have to delete that database down the line to uh, make sure this works properly. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll keep plugging away. Uh, Python mesh up you on server. Uh, but we'll keep plugging away here. Uh, we may run into an issue because it changes the structure of the database a lot when you're working with user models. So we might hit a snag. Um, but since we're in development right now, we're, we haven't uploaded this to Heroku unless you guys have. Uh, we might hit a snag, in it, and that's fine. We'll just delete the database and start fresh. Um, but I'll show you guys all how to do that. Let's see if we get an error here. Related object does not exist. User has no prof profile. Okay. Um, so we hit we hit a little snag there. Uh, we'll fix that eventually. Um, most likely this is because the user doesn't have a profile, but we created a profile. So that right now the user just has an email address and a username. Um, so it's saying, hey, we don't have a profile. So we'll, we'll plug away uh, with the views and creating a profile on our end versus the admin page. But I just want you guys to know that you might hit a snag here and it's 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 going to eventually be fixed. OK, so um, I'll see you then.